Presenter from Italiana, Melanie, Melania, Cadet Roberto. Is this yeah. two presenter? Yeah, yeah. Hello, everybody. Happy Hello. Christmas. I am mm. Melania and uh, I am speaking from Portugal, but I am Italian, so I was born in Italy. I hope you are yeah. all enjoying this day with family and friends. And I would like also to say thank you to the teacher and I feel really blessed and grateful for this opportunity and invitation today to talk a bit about Bhagavad Gita. And um, so I would like to put the accent on chapter three. It really speaks to me nowadays. And uh, actually I also received and see this uh, invitation um, as a gift because um, in, lately I was into other kind of readings on nutrition and other um, yoga texts but the um, Bhagavad Gita actually is a really beautiful let's say easy tool to read when we feel kind of uh, lost and uh, with some doubts or um, yeah or resistance in our daily life and actually um, nowadays we are living particular times and Personally, I felt a kind of um, instability sometimes arises, arising from the um, kind of imposition and the characteristic of our societies, um, society, the materialistic, superficial aspect that doesn't um, kind of um, feed my deeper self and I don't feel part of it so this kind of break between materialism and consumption and ethic and common sense and simplicity and uh, humility but so chapter three in chapter three Krishna gives actually the tool to Arjuna to kind of um, take the strength again and he said to him that he has to act, he has to fight because action is actually a characteristic of human being, we cannot not, not act. And as in um, Sankhya Yoga, in Sankhya we speak about these three aspects of the uh, phenomenal world that are uh, three qualities of all the human beings and all the creator um, that is a uh, tamas quality of being um, kind of inert and uh, slow and um, um, then we have um, rajas and sattvic qualities so here in this moment Arjuna is he is in his rajastic let's say moment of energy and activity but also in Sankhya we explain that there is a progression from tamas to rajas to sattvic to the light and pure quality and so and in spiritual then evolution we should go beyond all those three and what Krishna say says is that we have to act with a 
kind of idea of selfless service. So to do not be attached to the result of our action. So no um, expectations, no expectations, expectations of our from our actions because otherwise it's gonna lead to um, karma kanda so when we are expecting something when we are feeding ahamkara our ego so here yes we are gonna create um, we are gonna uh, do and bring bad consequences on ourselves, on our family on our relationships and on our on our community as uh, Krishna underlines in Sloka 9 selfish action imprisons the world so just acting uh, selfless acting with the intention of feeding our true self and this is really beautiful because actually it's the main uh, core of, of yoga and of devotional yoga to is just to really live every day with this kind of surrender to the universe, surrender to the laws that comes from uh, above and also the, yeah, the idea to, to give, to live with the heart open, to practice ahimsa, non-violence with ourselves and with the others, so speaks, speak with the heart and speak with our own truth satya as patanjali explains too in the yoga sutras and um, and by the idea of um, worship and there is a really beautiful um, kind of for me it's poetry the sloka 14 um, living creators, I'm reading, living creators are nourished by food and food is nourished by rain. Rain itself is the water of life which comes from the selfless worship and service. Every selfless act Arjuna is born from Brahman, the eternal infinite go Godhead. Brahman is present in every act of service. So this is really beautiful it's even our service actually so our practice so going on a mat every day is actually a gift from the divinity that is in us so tapas discipline keep practicing every day whatever tool is the best for you uh, asana uh, chanting mantra meditation just do it regularly for a long amount of time and uh, and so I think this is the key to go beyond the mundane and materialistic aspect of this society but just understand that we are here for higher and more subtle and sacred um, experience so this is what I wanted to share with you thanks a lot again namaste thank you Melanie for reading chapter three Three tool <clears throat> from Krishna to Arjuna, I mentioned Satyam, yeah, Raja, Tama. It seems like similar to what I present a while ago, what Ahimsa, Satya, only you didn't mention Dharma and Bhakti also. <clears throat> Thank you, a very nice presentation. Anakar,